हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू रेडी टू स्टडी चैनल वी विल लर्न डेटा डी डेटा बेस डी नॉर्मलाइजेशन कंसेप्ट वी हैव लर्न द नॉर्मलाइजेशन कंसेप्ट इफ यू फॉरगॉट टू वॉच द वीडियो ऑन द नॉर्मलाइजेशन फर्स्ट नॉर्मल फॉर्म सेकेंड नॉर्मल फॉर्म एंड द थर्ड नॉर्मल फॉर्म प्लीज वॉच द वीडियोज वी आर लर्निंग द डेटा बेस डी नॉर्मलाइजेशन Denormalization in a database is an optimization technique for improving the performance of a certain queries. It is an optimization technique to improve the performance of not a database of a certain queries. In a denormalization, we add a redundant data to one or more table. Means what? Yes, it may happen data redundancy in the denormalization. This can help us avoid costly joins in relational database. We will see one example. There are a two tables, student branch table. So here, ID is a primary. So ID is a primary key and branch code is a foreign key. And in branch table, branch code is a primary key. We have a two student. We have a two tables, student and branch. After Performing the normalization, we have performed first normalization and then we have divided the tables one table into two table. One is a student and second is a branch. But now what we want, if you want the name of a student so along with the name of the branch name, then we need to perform a join operation because in student table we got name with the branch code only. Okay. But if you want the branch name, we have to yes join the both table. We have to join both table. The problem here is that if the table is small is large, we need a lot of time to perform the join operation. If the table is a small, if data is small, then it's okay. We can easily perform the join operation. But if the large amount of a data and at that time we have performed the join operation, it will take a time. It is a time consuming process. It will, yes, low the speed of your database. So the performance will be low. So for improving the performance, we have to do the denormalization. So what will be, what will do? So we can add the data of a branch name from a branch table to the student table, and this will help in reducing the time that would have been used in a join operation, and thus optimize the database. That's why denormalization is a Denormalization is an optimization technique. We will take one more example. Imagine there is a one vegetable seller has a two list. One is vegetable in a stock, and second is market price for all vegetable. Okay, this would be two separate tables in a normalized table. One is vegetable in a stock, and second is market price for all vegetable. If a customer wanted to know the price of a particular item. the seller would need to check the another list where he have mentioned the all the price of the market price of the vegetables then he will check the, both the list uh, to determine if it is in stock and at what price for uh, another list it will be time consuming it will take more time so there for every day what will seller do the seller create a new list with just the atom in the stock and the price of the atom so he now he have made a only one list one is atom in the stock and the daily price combining the two list as a quick reference to use throughout the day this would be denormalized table for speeding up reading the data so this is a denormalization advantage of a denormalization retrieving a data is a faster since we do fewer joins query execution is fast we can easily uh, execute the query there are some disadvantages also of the denormalization it may create a data redundancy and if the data redundancy will be there there is a problem of a data integrity 
सो डेटा इंटीग्रिटी मे नॉट मेंटेन इन द डी नॉर्मलाइजेशन थैंक यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टू लर्न मोर इजी कंसेप्ट ऑफ द डेटाबेस इन द इजी वे थैंक यू